Winter residents. Surviving an Illinois winter is a difficult challenge for wildlife species. Some animals, known as migrants, cannot meet the challenge and travel away from Illinois for winter. In Illinois, some bats, birds, and insects migrate out of the state. Those mammals that do spend the winter in Illinois must be able to survive the following conditions. Short periods of daylight, cold temperatures, possible lack of accessible water, and possible difficulty in finding food. Animals in Illinois that cannot travel long distances live here all year. Other animals in Illinois are capable of moving long distances to more suitable winter conditions, but they do not. Some animals even move into Illinois to spend the winter. How do these winter residents survive? Some of them hibernate. Hibernation is a period of inactivity and drastic reductions in bodily functions, such as body temperature, heart, and breathing rates. The woodchuck is an example of a true hibernator. Prior to the hibernation period, it accumulates a thick layer of body fat that will supply it with the energy needed to survive. It may lose as much as one-third of its total weight during hibernation. These animals may spend five or six months of the year hibernating in its underground burrow. The woodchuck is one of several mammal species in Illinois that hibernates. The food sources for these animals, mainly insects and plants, are not available during winter. Reptiles hibernate. They may move to a safe location to hibernate, such as a crevice in a rock cliff, a cavity in a rotting log, or under a rock. Aquatic turtles bury themselves in the mud at the bottom of a water body. Aquatic frogs, like the American bullfrog, spend the winter at the bottom of a water body. They may be partially buried in mud, but they need contact with the water to breathe through their skin. Land-based frogs that can dig, like the American toad, bury themselves in the ground below the freeze line. Terrestrial frogs that can't dig well, such as the wood frog and spring peeper, find shelter in a hollow log, tree cavity, or in leaf litter. These frogs may actually partially freeze. However, their body organs contain high levels of glucose that acts like antifreeze. The frog may stop breathing, and its heart may not beat, but it is not dead. Some insects, including some adult butterflies, hibernate. The morning cloak is an example. It finds shelter for the winter in a hollow log or a tree cavity. Immature stages in the life cycle are the means of survival for most insects, with the majority of adult insects dying in the fall of the year. In insects such as hornets and bumblebees, only the queen survives the winter, hibernating in the ground. Dormancy, or inactivity, is another method used for winter survival. Dormancy allows animals to conserve energy and survive periods of limited food supply. Striped skunks and raccoons, for instance, den up during extremely cold winter weather, remaining in their burrow or den and living off excess body fat while not actually hibernating. Tree squirrels stay in their nest or a tree cavity when winter weather conditions are harsh. They cache nuts and acorns in the fall as available food for winter. Other options. The eastern cottontail is a mammal that is active year-round but may change its diet if heavy snow is present and its normal food sources cannot be accessed. White-tailed deer may gather in upland forest or shrubby areas in severe winters. These locations may have less snow and more shelter and food than their normal habitat. Otherwise, they tend to stay in the same area throughout the year, varying their diet as food sources change. Mammals add additional fur in winter. Birds produce feathers that help them conserve heat. Cave salamanders may remain active in winter since the temperature in the cave and the food sources remain fairly constant throughout the year. Fishes and aquatic salamanders slow their activity during the winter. Some species migrate to larger bodies of water or areas of calmer water before winter to increase their chances of survival.